How's your world? Good, good. You? <clears throat> Oh, right chapeau, here. This wow. is for you. It's, uh, it's really... Oh, hello. Good day. Good day to you. Good day. How do you do? Anyway, I have a, a, I have a fascinating like dream. Everything. Good. Yeah, yeah. I thought that so. It was really from, fun. Good. Really fun. Myself as well. I think it's a, it's a gas. Ah. Uh, good. I never brought enough coffee for you. You're as short as you notice. Hey. Compact. Doorway. Compact. That's the doorway. Like or close. Or close. <laughs> and myself yeah, she, as well. I have I mean, one. Good. My husband good. is here. And I start doing mm -hmm. She just gets really uh, <laughs> okay. Sir. Yeah. Question? Yeah. It's okay. I'll ask Draven. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. It's kind of intrusive. David, did you happen to have... Uh, uh, yeah. Did you happen to say that... That is so ah. cool. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> Perfect. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I think I left that bag for with uh, yeah. pens and pencils. Oh look, that's so the black one. Yeah, I, so <laughs> I didn't want to put it. Really I was sick and I didn't want to. Man, it's such a nice room. Regina. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I brought a dream. You had a dream and you shared it. It's even short. It's short. That's how we came with the mess. Yeah, dream too. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. Thank you. Oops. Did you bring one? Yeah, good. Good. It'll be a good morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you. Can I take one of yours? Yes. Mine. Seems like it's ended in the middle of a sentence. Did it? Did I cut it off at the wrong place? Uh, what I liked? It, it was not thinking it was not into what I, and then the last word is liked? Yeah. That's no big deal. That's missing, but that's. Do you Tons of them. Excellent. Put it in front of the camera here. Ooh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. 
That's not you, it's the table. So I just put your coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the wheels are rolling. Kathy, that's yours? This is yours. <laughs> oh, no, I got one right here. How would you approach it? What do you see going on? <clears throat> well, when I first looked at it, Hold I was. We used to oh. This is an important dream. Why? Okay. 
could it possibly be because we get get it twice? Not that your answer is incorrect. That's true. But that's not it. <laughs> Let me hear some uh, replies. Last bill. I thought it was important because why? Because um, he set off for home. He would he into he um, had major obstacles, but he made it possible. He figured out how to get there. Okay. Next. Again, not that that's wrong. It seemed yeah. like so? it seemed like he he woke up. He, you know, he thought the dream was a dream, and then woke up that he that wasn't. True. That's so true. That it was something like he was kind of stuck in a way. Yeah. Okay. Gonna work that way. Okay, Kathy. Um, my first guess was wrong. Um, or next, you want more time? Um, I need more time. To okay, Nancy. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just finishing reading it. Pardon me? I'm just finishing reading it. Yeah, I'm not finished reading it. Okay, David? Seems to be a real importance in the value of dream work. And That's and true. And he gets out of it at one point. That's true. What else? Yanni? Uh, I don't know, but I would say it's an important uh, pardon me. dream. How did you start out? I don't know why it's uh, an important uh, dream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the word home, I would say, and also because every dream is important. <coughs> Let me ask the same question another way. Why is this an anagogic dream? Why is it an anagogic dream? Right. Two levels. What do you mean, Anagazi? Hold on. You'll last. <coughs> okay. Well, anagogic wise, I like that line. This will give me a chance to spend some time by myself. Oh, that's Very the second one. Yes. Oh, you. You no, just want us on the first one. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm thinking about the metaphor of the bridge. He crosses over a bridge. That's true. Not it. <laughs> Does he cross it? That's what I was wondering. It says it's there. But oh, maybe I don't think that he did. Okay. Which would make it very interesting. If he did. From from your conclusion. What question would you explore or ask for more information? Same thing. Yes? Well, I, I would ask... <coughs> you to stop working. That's yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. Yeah.
life. Your waking world dream meeting. Okay. You mean is a... Uh, say that a little clearer. You say, we are at a meeting not like the dream meeting. Yes. Is that awareness in the dream that the, that the meeting you're at is like the dream meeting in your waking world? It appears several places like there's an awareness of similarity between the, the dream and your waking world. And I'm wondering, is that reflective awareness or is that in the dream? You mean as the, uh, that it is the waking world? That dream meeting that which the... Are you aware in the dream that there is, the meeting you're at in the dream is similar to... Definitely. Your waking world dream meeting. The dream meeting the night before, yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's so close. I mean, it's, it is that meeting. I mean, that, that meeting the night before. You're asking a tough question. I'm not really, I'd love to answer it clearly, but it's so close. It's a question of whether in the dream you are aware of Waking world, that there are those two worlds. No, I don't think so. I think that's used, I used that to describe it. I think. Okay. Okay. That's, that's what I mean. okay. All right, last comment. Okay, Bill. Um, And I came to a place where the bank was sloped. And I could get to the top of the bank easily. What was that like in the dream? Um, it was, I, I don't know if it's a, uh, It was easy to do. I mean, it was like uh, it's. I, I can remember that I saw that place down there. I mean, and each each place I came to was easy to do. Like the, the how to get there. The riverbank was narrow, nice, nice sandy thing that I could go on. Yeah. And uh, when I got to that place, it it the problem of getting up there was gone. I mean, it's like I was relieved. It was I, relieved to be almost too strong. I wasn't in any doubt that I couldn't get up there. It was just how to do it, you know? Because when I first saw it, I couldn't go up that bank. It was like dirt and six or seven feet up, but, you know, I could... Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> likely, you've been into situations where you had fun and uh, experienced relief. Mm. <laughs> how would you compare that experience in the dream with all the other kinds of experiences you had that you had that were fun and relief? I'm having difficulty recalling one. Good. Having fun and then have relief. Well, there's something about this that's rather curious, then, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? You never experienced that so far as you can recall Not in the immediately. world. Not, not immediately. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, to me, it's like uh, the. Each of these obstacles, you know, like the river first. I didn't even hesitate for the river. I just yeah. stepped right in. If yeah. it had been up to my waist, I wouldn't have cared. You know, I knew I could get across. Yeah. And it was significant to me that it was muddy, yeah. that I couldn't tell how deep it was. Um, but it didn't, you know, I just did it. And then when I got across and I saw the bank was up there, that was kind of a, a problem, you know. Rhonda was already up there, but I wanted to get there, but I just, looked and I saw that this sandy, you know, everything was solved as, as I looked at it. Yeah. And I could even see that sloped area. I don't remember going up the sloped area. Yeah. I just got up there. Yeah. It's obvious. 
That's why I was interested in the state of mind, because that it culminates, it reaches that point where you see that the bank was sloped and you could get to the top of it easily. Right. That's a series of successes, isn't it? Right, right. And that's the high point. That's right. And so that's why I was interested in the state of mind you experienced at that moment. And you said, fun, right? Yeah. Relief, and you're having trouble saying, let's see, did I have that experience in my life before? I can't remember it. Uh, would you like to be in that state of mind now? Oh, yeah. Why? Well, <clears throat> it, uh, it makes, what's a great state, great question. Um, it's, I see that I can do it, that kind of a, I can, I can do it, I know I can do it. It's, there's a, a way to do it, a certain way to do it, that I can be that, I can have that success. <clears throat> I think that state comes in at the end of the dream as well. Yeah. But it's uh, I can yeah. I, I see that positive element, yeah. and, and I think when I'm talking about the craft sphere, and Rhonda's not there, and I'm looking for, her, I'm not distressed. Yeah. I'm not <clears throat> being distressed. It's a problem to solve. And uh, when I think it's Josh, and Josh gets the phone call, I knew it was her. I knew it was her on the phone. It was like yeah. all the problems are hold solved. Hold hold yeah, that's back the to the state. That's the next part. I, I okay. Yeah. You know, I'll go back to just, that. Yeah. <clears throat> It's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? To get to the top like that? To be able to see that I can get up to the top? Yeah. yeah. But I can <clears> see <throat> that I can get to the it's top. It's a relief. It was fun. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's... it's, it's uh, there's a way to do it, and it's, it is fun. It was... Yeah. You know, it was, yeah. it was easy to do. Yeah. There's nothing at all like looking at that bank and just... I just glanced down there. How, how do I... And I can see it. I can see the result. I can see the nice sandy... Uh, trail along there, the river, hadn't, the river hadn't risen enough to, to cover that, I could get down there and I kind of saw that place down there and I walked down to it, I could, yeah. you know, it was like a walk through the forest. It yeah. was, it was By the way, uh, related now to the first line. First line? Yeah. We were at a meeting, not unlike a dream meeting, and it finished? Yeah. Did you go home, we had to go across this river? Just read really, it, yeah. We were, we're, we're at a meeting, not unlike the dream meeting, and it finished. And to go home, we had to go across. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The goal was? To go home. And now you're seeing that you can do it going through all of these difficulties. That's right. And as a result of going through each of these successes. That's right. You put yourself and got in an interesting state of mind. Very positive. Very, very positive. Yeah. yeah. You could look ahead and see where to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but also having fun at the moment. Oh yeah, while doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Say, fun. By the way, by the way, have you ever uh, <clears throat> done any sitting? Oh yeah, really? No kidding. Oh, within oh. the last twenty-four hours. <laughs> oh. I wish that similar to anything you did in sitting. Compare it. Well, just my first reaction, it's more fun than sitting. That's right. And among the states of mind you may have achieved in that sitting game, where would you put this one? Tim? Easily, I don't think I've had many sitting experiences like that. Yeah, that's not the pretty high up then. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no. Oh. Free, clear. Uh, clear, what do you mean by clear? There's no um, bad thoughts, no uh, obstructions. It's yeah. just go ahead. I got a way to go, and I'm going to go there. And I know it's going to work. And what class are we going to put that experience? In? All of them are up the top. At right. the top, very positive, very uh, optimistic. If I can say that, you know, I, I know it's going to happen. I, I just know uh, it's going to happen. In Zen, if you went to a <coughs> Zen master with that state of mind, what would they say? I don't think they'd see it. Huh? I don't think they'd see it. But therefore, it's beyond their scope. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think it fits as in. Uh -huh. no. So it, now you're, all of this was done because you're on your way? Home. Home. Yeah. Is that interesting? Yeah. yeah. And they're, each of them are 
Yeah. Very pleasant success. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah, like you said, fun, fun good home. work. Yeah. 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 Except for the last word. I mean, yeah. that wasn't a problem. I mean, the craft yeah. fair was fun. Yeah. Now we go to the second part. Okay, that's the craft fair. What's the meaning of that, Bill? Of the what? The craft fair? Second part, yeah. The second part. Uh, things for sale, goodies and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, what do you mean the meaning of it? Um, well, it's fun. I mean, in a sense, it's fun. They're, it's like if you've been to a craft fair, they're fun. People are there, and you know, it's not unlike the the farmers market we go to on Thursday. Yeah. Could you pick it up with the statement, the teacher, about uh, ten lines down? Yeah. Um, uh, some people from the talk are there. I can't remember the name of the teacher of the girl who did her dream. That's not. What's that mean? What is that going on there? Uh, those are people I recognize who were in the dream sooner. Yeah. That's Josh, actually, but I couldn't remember in the dream. That's how I identified yeah. him. Yeah. And uh, that's from the waking world. I could recognize him. You know, yeah. that's a member of that. And there were other members of that group as well that were there. I can't, but it, so, I felt that. They were around me. Yeah. So now I wanted They're very positive. So now you want to see what consequence follows from that. Mm -hmm. Therefore, can you read it further? And finally... And finally he got a, cell, a call on the cell phone, and I knew it was her. Uh, what is... Is that curious? <coughs> yeah. No, it's... it's uh, someone else gets the phone call, but you know it's her. Yeah, yeah. How's, no. your, how's your saying? Oh, I'm, I'm, I knew what was going on. I knew so what was mm. happening. Mm. And it, it fit well with my looking around the, the market. I went all over the, the crafts market and uh, at the same time I'm looking at stuff, you know, bracelets and stuff yeah. like that. And I couldn't find her, but I wasn't disturbed. I mean, I wasn't yeah. disturbed. It was a problem to solve. And when the phone call came in, it was at the perfect time. Yeah. So what is the consequence of that in the dream? The phone call? Yeah, as you read it further. Okay. Finally got a call on the cell phone, and I knew it was her. And she said... Good. Keep going. And she said she was there at home to him, and he told me. So I, I think that's quite curious right there, that he told me. Yeah. You know? That's good. Because that character in the dream is someone who knows me well and that I trust. You know what I mean? And she knows well. And uh, he told me, and so I said, okay, I'll be there pretty soon. And I told him to tell her that. I didn't talk to her myself on the phone, and the dream ended. What does it mean in the dream, in this exchange, you end up by saying, okay, I'll be there pretty soon? That, well, that means I knew how to get there. What is it about? See, the girl just went through something. The girl? Oh, she was. Is that the one that the the teacher took her through her dream? No, I identified him by that when I was in, uh, from my waking world. I I knew that was that guy, and I couldn't get his name when I was recording the dream. I didn't recall that scene in the present, but I probably did. Now that I think about it in order to get his name, that's how I got his name. Yeah, so um, to whom does this remark refer in the dream? Okay, I'll be there pretty soon. Rhonda, but I'm saying it to him, mm -hmm. which is, I think you're right, it is significant, that it's him, it could have been other people at the seminar. Hmm. I knew it was her. Who's the her? Rhonda. We, she was. I was looking for her. No. Uh, who's the girl in the dream? Um, Just anybody, or no, no, the the young woman who was uh, who did her dream the night before, the real world. Okay. That's how I identified him. But I, when I recorded it, I s struggled to know what his name was a tall fellow and I could see him but I couldn't remember his name and so that's how I identified him when I said so on the recording. So then we're correct in assuming that okay I'll be there pretty soon means it relates to Rhonda and being at home. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What was that like coming to that conclusion? Oh, it's um, well, it's, it's a relief, but it's not. It's it's expected. You know what I mean? It's I expected that call to be from her as soon as I heard the phone ring. I said, "That's that's probably her. That's that's her." Mm -hmm. And then when I got the message, then it even more clarified it. And I knew I was going to go across that bridge to go home. You know, the, it was a neat bridge. It wasn't a car bridge like the yeah. one here. But it was, you know, I knew I was going to go go home, and that's where the house was, which is quite clearly like reality yeah. in many ways. You know, you know the way it was worked. But I knew I was going to go home. You know. And now it's home also with Rhonda. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So therefore, at that moment when you say, "Okay, I'll be there pretty soon," right? So I'm gonna be home. I told him to tell her that. Yeah. Right. I didn't take the phone and talk to her myself. Yeah. So the whole the whole vision starts with trying to get home. Right. And going through each of these fun obstacles. Uh -huh. I mean, it was fun to jump in that river. Yeah. It was a gas. Yeah. You know, and it was kind of surprised I only came up to my knees, but you know, I didn't care if it came up further, you know. <laughs> it was slow and fast, too. It was kind of yeah. neat. And she's over there, you know. A series of nice victories. Oh, yeah. It was fun. Yeah. And the only one that was a little struggle was at the, the craft fair, but that was fun, too, because of what it was, you know. And then there were people I knew there besides, you know. Josh was there and some others that were there at the uh, talk the night before which does come in as a way of identifying them. It wasn't people I know from the Noetic Society, it was the people who were that talk. Yeah. What were you going to ask? Yeah. Just have one question about that. The girl. Why is that episode in there, the teacher of the girl who did her dream, she was there? Well, she wasn't in this well, dream, but to say that... Yeah, pick it up from, and some of the people from the talk. Some of the people from the talk were th are there. I can't remember the name, the teacher of the girl who did her dream. Um, I, I thought of that as a struggle when I was trying to recall the, how the dream went, because I wanted to identify this guy who was in the dream, my dream, from what I saw who he was in the dream, which is that fellow, Josh, mm -hmm. okay? But I couldn't get his name, mm -hmm. which uh, um, happens to me, so, but that's how I identified him. That, that brought me in the real world back to the night before, yeah. okay. which was very positive. Now watch, you're in a group, I would say, the people are there. Yeah. And yeah, they were there that were in the reality, yes, definitely. And I didn't refer back to the seminar, I mean the dream seminar yeah. in the dream. Yeah. I referred to the reality. What was it like being there? The night before? Uh, yeah. In reality or in the... No, no, in the dream. Some of the people from the talk are there. What was it like being there? In the... In the dream. In the craft sphere. How it was like to be there with them there? Yeah. Oh, that was... You know, if it had been a crass fair without them there, I mean, them being there gave it a... Um, a, a I don't know what you'd say, a, 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 a richness, a familiarity, a, you know, friends there, you know, if... Yeah. It was, I, they belong... We all belonged there, I mean, it was... It added to the craft fair. If they hadn't been there, it'd have been just a craft fair with strangers. Yeah, it's it was, interesting terms, isn't it? That you using there is a richness and a familiarity. Oh yeah. There. Yeah. No. Yeah, how um, similar to other kinds of situations, or rarer, or come to talk about it. See, it's in your dream. I know. Yeah. So, what's it like being there? And you're there, presumably, from Josh as a teacher of someone who took a dream, right. dream work through. Right, right, right. No, to recall that, it's important. Yeah, what was it like being there? You're talking about in this dream yeah. or yeah, the yeah, night no, before? In the dream. Well, a very 
what should I say? Not, uh, relaxing might be a word, but not quite right. Um, so you used the term richness and familiarity. Right. So I just wanted to see if right. you could come up with some other terms. Maybe, um, I hesitate to say some kind of a safety. Um, <coughs> Um, there's potential. I don't like that word. There's. How does it compare with the other state that we were talking about? You mean in Zen? Yeah. Oh, there's nothing like that. Pardon me? There's nothing like that. Yeah, go ahead. <coughs> well, in Zen, you're on your own trip. I mean, you're trying to deal with this master who may, not, may or may not see you, and when you're sitting, you're dealing with your body and you're glad you can get out of it and get into some sort of mental state and some of uh, what you're thinking about or shouldn't be thinking about with discursive thoughts and stuff. There's no no concentration or growth that I see that you can do by relating to people, especially people of that quality, the people who I could talk to and who knew me, yeah. right? Who, who I, I knew them and I knew I could walk up to any of them and talk about something. Had a richness to it. Oh, yeah. And, and a what lack of defensiveness, no. you know, lack not, of, not no. being careful about what I'm saying, yeah. which is much like I'm doing right now. Right. right. Free, open. Oh, yeah, right. No, I, I would talk about anything. Yeah, it's know. a nice, interesting statement. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. It's a Please. good thing to have in one's life, to have people like that around you. Yeah. <laughs> interesting dream with those states of mind, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's getting home. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to get home. <laughs> With those people. With those people. Yeah, they talked. On, he talked yeah. on the phone. I didn't, yeah. you know, and I and I knew it was her. I mean, you know. <laughs> Good show. Yeah, except for the last part. That last part is super significant to me. I mean, yeah. you mean the second dream? It isn't a second dream. Okay, want to do that one? Yeah, in that previous dream, I just I I recorded this because I realized it wasn't the end of the dream. Um, well, yes, it was. I, I turned off the recorder, went back to bed, and I laid there a little bit. Rhonda was awake, and I told her, and she told me she was going up north to a, for a while to the seminar or something. And I said to myself, good, this will give me a chance to spend some time by myself and see if I can do this. Yeah. And then what, I woke up. Now, what do I want to ask? What will I ask her? Uh, what significance is that? What? What significance is that? Not, yeah, yeah. What else? Um, you woke up and then challenging. Was a dream. Huh? You didn't read the last line. And then I woke up and thought it was a dream. That she had talked to me. What's your question? Right. What is your question, Julie? Just he didn't finish reading it. And then I woke up and saw it was a dream, too. So that's, that re <laughs> that's, that's describing what happened. The dream was that Good. This will give me a chance to spend some time to spend some time myself. See if I can do that. That quote is the end of the dream. What was in the dream? What am I going to ask you? What's that like? Yeah. What What is what like? That idea that I'm going to spend some time with by myself. Right. And it's going to be a goal to beach, and it's going to be challenging. That it'll be fun to do. It'd be fun to do. Mm. Similar thing. Yeah. yeah. Only now it applies purely to yourself. Uh, definitely. To... In my waking world. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. De definitely. Which is extremely important. Yeah. Extremely important. Yeah. Mm. In the dream, what is it like when you come to that conclusion? That I can spend some time and take... Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a... It's a... I look forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be a challenging thing to do, but I, I think I have enough going for me that I can do it. Mm. I can do it, given some recent explorations I've been doing. Put the two together now. Um, well, in the dream, the first part, the dream, let's call them two dreams. First dream, um, um, I'm running into some obstacles, and the one that seems to be the most obstacle is to find Rondo. I mean, that, that's a little more of an obstacle than the rest of them. The others are just, you know, they go right away. But the, that one, I see I have to figure it out in the, in the press fair. I, I know I'm going to be able to figure it out. I know it's going to happen. I'm not, you know, upset about it. It's just how to do it. And then 
when the phone call comes in, I know that that's her, yeah. and it's going to solve it, you know. And I, even before he says it, I know she's going to tell me she's she's going to tell him she's home. One is dealing with getting home. Getting home. And all the things connected with it. Right. And the second is dealing with being home alone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. And enjoying that opportunity. To take that challenge. To take that challenge. Yes, indeed. Yes, they indeed. fit. Oh, yeah, they fit together. Yeah. 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 They have a great context. Yeah. They do. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. No. Thank you. No. I don't know if you know, but uh, this is very significant to me. Uh -huh. Because uh, I've been diagnosed with epilepsy and I've had seizures, you all have seen it. And uh, I've been working very carefully on the context for seizures. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking medicine, I've called them counterattacks. And uh, they're very interesting because they seem to be, a lot of them related to successes. Mm -hmm. They seem to come in the context of successes. And I've been wanting to work on them even more. And so this comes to me as a result of these explorations I've been doing. And this looking to see, to have some fun, trying to do it. Yeah. Trying to take care of it, so <clears throat> that the whole state of mind is yeah. there. And in contrast with the Zen game, oh, there's no content. There's no content. Yeah. I mean, all you do is sit there and try to do a, a koan or get into a particular state of mind. I mean, some of them are very interesting, but they don't have any content that you can use to grow with. Mm. That's what I, I see. You can't you can't deal with it in that way. Thank you. Thank you very Good. much. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. Yes. <clears throat> um, I had a short one in front of me. Uh, Two twelve. All right. Take a moment out, everyone. Who's the short one? Would you? Two twelve. You want to sit here? Okay. Huh? That was black. Huh? It's like a wrap. I didn't win anything. I didn't win anything. Did you say a last word, Gina? Refill, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. Be careful. Some of these are blank. No, you don't win anything. Very good. Oh, they're all blank. Jeff? You should move the microphone over because he's going to sit there. Thank you. Uh, wherever they're going to sit, let's move the microphone in between. Or you can switch places. I thought I could do that. Why don't you sit over here, Regina? I'm going to have to move the mic around. Are you still alive? It's hot. Oh, Wait, no, it's not. Actually, I like it. Oh, good. You like it there? It's warm. Okay, well, let's get the mic over to you. Okay? That's easy to do. How about that? That does help with the task. Sorry, I didn't catch. What was that? Oh, okay. Ran out of ink. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did it get enough in there? Did get it? Yeah, let me get one. Somebody got a pen? Here. Thank you. Just as a correction, when I say I remember, uh, that's my thinking about the dream. Actually, the, the beginning of the dream is there is an image or there is this veteran. So where does the dream actually start? There was an image. It should be starting. Okay.
I say image because that was what was prominent. <clears throat> uh, so, um, what do you make of the dream? Uh, Well, I, I, I'm seeing where the person is, it, his states of mind. But it's not someone, then I conclude that it's not someone that is, is, is where I want it, want to be talking to all the time. He's a, uh, but that's he's, not good. Good, good I said that I'm seeing where this person's state of mind is, yeah. and he's clear, but it's not where I, it's not, although I've talked to him, it's not on the subjects that I want to talk about. <coughs> what do you think of that? What do I think about it? Yeah, I don't right know now. why this is yeah. coming up. Say it it's again. Weird. It was not. It's not on the subjects that I like talking about. Although I, I mean, I helped him. He's clear. He's he's uh, got a good mind, but it's not. Um, uh, his thinking wasn't. Where, um, what I like to talk, what I, what I would, I would see that he would not want to talk about the things I liked. What do you think of that? No. Uh, now, what does that mean to you? Come on. What mean? Well, what it means to me is that I'm making a distinction between, I mean, it, 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 there's different, there's, di there's different abilities or, or thinkings. It doesn't mean that they're not smart and they're able to grasp things quickly and do things but they wouldn't be interested in the using that to subjects that I would like to talk about at least that's how I I saw him in the dream yeah. <clears throat> you were watching him in the dream yeah yeah make certain statements about his abilities on him right Uh, could you read the third line? Um, his or pick it up as I was listening to him. I remember he had a good mind, and as I was listening to him, I was thinking that what he was saying didn't match his talking about his abilities. What does that mean? That means he wasn't, he was putting himself down, or he wasn't, he was not being uh, just with what his abilities were. It was like he was talking about his inability, or what he thought was inabilities. Yet his abilities were sharper. Yes, he, he was much sharper than what the, what he was saying about himself. They're seeing something about him, aren't you? Yes. What are you seeing about him? Just repeat what you said and use other words. Well, that he wasn't grasping the fact that he had sharper abilities than he believed. What do you think of that? It's an interesting state, isn't it? You're looking at him, you're saying. Yeah, he, like he, he's sharper than what he believes himself to be. And I'm looking at it and... It's 
Did you see a conflict, therefore, in terms of what you just said? Uh, mm, no, I didn't see a conflict. Well, but I, I did. you did see something about him right. that was in conflict with what he was saying. Right, <clears throat> right. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what you were seeing, isn't yes, it? Yes, that's yeah. what I was seeing. Yeah. That's in contrast with what you wanted to do. Right. It's almost like... Is that right? Yes. And uh, uh, What does that mean? Well, I had the sense that he would not want to look at that, different, that contrast. Like, his thinking was more to get tasks done but not to reflect on what, it, why it is that he's, the, the, the that his talking doesn't match his actual ability. So he would. Say so that's interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> Stay with it. <clears throat> You're making an analysis of him, aren't you? Right. But that's not what you wanted to talk about. Is that right? No. It would be more the, that conflict, like uh, he's talking about himself and his abilities are sharper, but somehow he's not, he, he, he wouldn't want to talk about that difference or that conflict or what I'm seeing about it or, or how, to, how to bring him to see that that's what he's doing. I helped him with test jitters, but that's where a moment ago you said he was not involved or he wasn't interested in talking about the subject that I wanted to, to talk about. Is that right? Is that in the dream? That's uh, what you just said. I just wanted to make sure it's still current. Well, I didn't see him as wanting to do that. Yeah, that I would like to talk about. So then you had an ob you had a subject you wanted to talk to him about, even though you were seeing a conflict that he was in. Is that correct? Yes. So in a way, are you uh, finish the sentence? Uh, are you ignoring? Go ahead, finish it. Well, um, am I ignoring, um, am I ignoring his abilities? I don't know. Your analysis. Oh, my analysis. I, I don't know. Good. However, as I listen, I'm like, <coughs> to make it in simple terms, um, you're seeing where he is at. You right. see a conflict, but that's different than what you want to talk about. Therefore, what are you doing with your seeing? Hmm. Or analysis? just noticing it. I don't know. That's all. That it's not what I like. Yeah. I, I don't. That's right. It's that's not all. what you wanted to talk about. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just, is there a difference between what you wanted to talk about and what you are seeing as his problem? Really, I just didn't see that he would go there. Pardon me, they don't fit over there. <laughs> then you do see it, but you don't see that he won't uh, appreciate going in that direction. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or talking about, um, yeah, to, to talk about his own reflection, to reflect <coughs> and also 
I was thinking also uh, of uh, philosophy and, and studying, um, yeah, kind of studying the self, or I was thinking uh, the, the dialogues. But no, he, it was like he wasn't, he, he was very sharp, but it wasn't a re kind of reflecting on himself sharp. That's another way of looking at it. Would you go back to my question? Okay. I asked you, were you ignoring your analysis because you did have an object you wanted to talk about? We're, we're engaged in a reflection on the dream. You're seeing he has a problem, don't you? Right. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same thing that you want to talk about or different? Uh, different. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. What do you make of that? Well, I'm not talking about what I'm, I want to talk about. And what about him? What does that mean for him and his problem that you see? Well, I'm not addressing it. Oh, oh. I, yeah, but I'm not addressing it. What is in the dream at that moment? What is it like? Well, I think it's, uh, I thought he was really, and I, I pulled back. Yeah. I think that was um, seeing that there would, I, I pulled back because I thought that it would, Well, uh, oh, I just, uh, well, there seems like there's two cards. I because pulled, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Hold on. Just, Okay, go ahead. Well, I pulled back because in, in some way I didn't think he would be interested in what I saw or which what is, I was interested in. Which was in. your analysis. That's one, yes. Yeah. yeah. Find that interesting? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, making a judgment about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, you then come to a conclusion which is the last line, and realized, go ahead. Well, he was really into military. Stop. What was that like? I realized he was into the military. That meant that that was kind of his thinking. It was more task-oriented. Um, um, not self-reflective, not reflective on himself. It was external, directed. And he was very good at that. But uh, it wasn't what you were, what you liked. No. His real thinking was not into what I liked. No. So you were, as a consequence, Pull back. Yeah. 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 So I didn't uh, what's it like when you saw in the dream that, hey, I realized he was into the military? <clears throat> well, it was, it was like putting, um, shutters on any possibility of exploring or even relating in that sense because it would all be very um, I don't know um, 
Is it fair to say, therefore, in terms of your interest and your goals, you saw someone that you could work with or not? No, I couldn't work with them. Mm. I could, I could help them on their issues, but not in relating to myself personally and relating, you know. Yeah, you could help them with tests, jitters. Yeah. But not in terms of. Uh, what you su you could summarize as his military thinking. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Or I guess I see military thinking sometimes as not reflective of themselves, but are are good at what they're doing. They they are very good at what they do. So that was someone you found you could or could not work with personally. Yeah. Would the answer be? Did you take the challenge of dealing with him, or? No, I didn't. No, no. Because after all, he's into military. That kind of thinking. Right, I mean? but I didn't challenge it. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Say, uh, anybody in your past into the military? Yeah, my dad. Oh. Does that fit your dad? I don't know. Louder? Yes. Oh, then you found someone like your dad. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, a lot of people like my dad. Oh, as a consequence, what does it look like your dream is telling you what you're doing? <coughs> I'm not addressing the as military a, state of mind. Right. The whole class of people that fall into that category, including Papa, huh? Yep. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I pull back. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Now, why are you having that dream? It's certainly making an interesting. Wow, I don't know. It could go anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> um, I don't know. How weird. It's almost like I need another dream to let me know what it means. Cause no, no. Oh, really? No, no. <laughs> well, my first thought was. The people at work. The second thought was. Um, Tell me, the people at work, are they like the military yeah, task or Very much. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> very much. But according to the dream, you pull back from dealing with that type of person. Is that right? Yeah. I think maybe it's time to stop that? Well, actually, uh, yeah, because I've been really concerned about confronting the director and telling her that I need to stop all this collecting of data of, of these students and look at the interviews that I collected and for the next two weeks not even go in and just see if I can make notes on the, just the, the interviews that I have done and I don't believe She's very task oriented. She wants to have everybody clock in. So she's the military, huh? Yeah, very much. In fact, she was. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? Um. Well, I'm going to have to tell her that I need to spend time on the on these interviews, and whenever I get a chance, I'm going to do that. And it's not going to be at work. It's not going to be sitting at a desk waiting for some student to see if they'll come and talk to me. I'm not going to do that. I've collected enough interviews, I think, and I need to review them. And if they want to, they have all the information of how to contact me. If they need, if somebody wants to talk to me, then it's up to them yeah. instead of uh, me constantly going out and uh, finding uh, people to talk to. How important is it to deal with this issue? Uh, this is something I can't do for myself, or w I won't do. It's, it's too because it would be somewhat like taking on debt. Uh, is that right? Yeah, they, the military kind of thinking would be that there's something that uh, it's like they wouldn't trust my work, they wouldn't trust what I'm doing. Yeah, they need to see. They need to make sure that you're visible to them. 
in, in their terms or your terms? In their terms. Hmm. Is that possible then? The way you're thinking? No, it's not possible in, in, in my thinking. I wouldn't be visible in their terms. I wouldn't be clocking in and I, I, I just am frustrated. So what what do you plan on doing from this curious dream? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to call the director tomorrow and tell her uh, I'm not coming in for the next two weeks. I'll come to the meeting on Thursday that they asked me to come into. But for the next two weeks, and I will take other times of which there is no contact with students, I will sit down and be working with the uh, the interviews and sure comment will be well can't you be working with those interviews here at, at work and I will say I'll have to say no because I'm not going to spend my time in a cubicle working out no I like thinking about things and, say, and would reflecting you ever, would you ever challenge her say that have I ever no no No, in fact, even the dean is like that as well. Yeah. She's worse. Yeah. But you're not going to challenge either of them that you're approaching it on a different level. No, I, that's what I have not been doing. Yeah. Now, what would that be like? <laughs> well, it would be probably breaking out of my my father's control and stopping that which is interesting because yeah. Um, yeah I had a prior dream that this would fit that uh, hmm, maybe those are, that's what all these dreams are focusing on yeah that's right looks like I've done it. Yeah. yeah pretty fun dream <laughs> Well, it'll be a nice challenge tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. <coughs> February 1st. Right. You want to see here? There's more coffee on the table. One other coffee. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah? Can we take a break for two minutes? Sure. Get a stretch. <coughs> <laughs> should I go up, should I read it? You ready for me to start? Okay, I'll, I'll read it. I was um, going on tour with a high-level dance troupe with an element of athletic acrobatic content. I was a newcomer among those many of, among many of them who were long-term. I was also my own age now, 65, and in my own body. Slower. And in my own body, while they were young performer bodies, there was some discontent in the troupe that I should be included, but. The director of the group, a small, older woman, was clear and strong that I should be in this performing tour. I didn't think I would get in. So when I did, I threw a few things in a backpack and headed to the bus. We traveled for a while, stopped, and rehearsed on a stage. I put my hands on the back of a free standing chair and went into a full, confident handstand. One of the dancers said, way to go, somebody, meaning one of the company, and the director said, no, that's Kathy. Mm -hmm. I was clearly not seen as the same of all of them, but the director was a powerful influence on everyone, the last word. There was no animosity, I thought, but I was clearly other, being new, but mostly being so much older. We drove to a city for a break. It was very odd. We stopped at a big store full of unusual and slightly magical items. I went back to the bus for my backpack. I think I wanted to change my shirt, and it was empty. 
Oh no, I thought someone is pranking me. I'm not, I'm actually not accepted by these dancers at all. That store had all sorts of curious things in it, but not clothing. I went out on the sidewalk. From a side street, a large procession of unusual cars from different eras was rolling in, but didn't get to the intersection yet. From the other direction, coming toward us, was a large group of people in full traditional battle gear on war horses, <laughs> rumbling full tilt toward us. The director was standing by me saying, oh no, this is not so good. She turned to me, asking me to act. I saw that I could shift time gracefully and modestly in just the right increments to get things to be good and right. That's why, that's why I was included in that troupe. I could do artistic stuff that also that moved time and space, uh, creating elements of true magic in a performance. I knew then that I would always do, I would always and only do this for beauty and for good, and I knew the director understood that. I went to get my backpack to look for a store to buy what I needed for the trip, and everything was there back in the backpack, everything I had packed. So, someone had replaced the stuff. And there were several more items, things I really loved and wished for, like those pretty flax t-shirts and pastels added in. And I knew they had arrived by that time and space shifting power. So, I realized that it was working to please me and help me, just like I tried to use it to help others or art. I felt bad that I had only brought a backpack on this trip. I had felt bad that I had only brought a backpack on this trip. But I saw, looking for it under the seats, that many of the other dancers had also packed minimally. I woke up feeling light and happy. Yeah, um what do you think of it? Well... What's your tongue? Well, the, my concern in the dream was that I wasn't good enough to be there. Yeah, yeah that's true. Did you answer my question, by the way? What's the dream telling me? Yeah. That I am good enough to be there. <laughs> I mean, if we circumvent all the stuff, but... Yeah. Yeah. It was very curious because this dream was like a really clear narrative. Everything was crystal clear in the dream. It wasn't mushy at all. Everything was slow and clear, one thing at a time. Yeah. By the way, uh, <clears throat> could you give me a talk on, <clears throat> in terms of the dream about uh, your, the way you are playing a role and the way your teacher is playing a role? Do that for me. Yeah, it looks like the teacher, the director, understands who I am and can see what I can do, and she is acting against everybody else and allowing me to be there yeah. and I think she's values that she <coughs> values me being there and maybe she's revealing to me what I am who yeah. I am yeah maybe no nope. oh. <laughs> not that it's not true <laughs> no. What are you not doing in answering my question? Seeing her role, who she is? No. Oh, Let me ask it again. Okay. <clears throat> Say, how do you compare yourself with I your teacher in terms of the dream? She's in charge and I'm not. She makes choices and I go along with it. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> I'm doing something for her that she can't do for herself. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Maybe. 
Yeah, that's the hard question, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Go ahead. She needs me. Oh, a little bit? Entirely to save her. Oh, oh. To save, save oh. them from this. Oh, what role this, are you playing? From the now? horde. What? What? <laughs> she wants to, she needs me to save her from the horde. I save everybody from the hordes come down like me down the street. That's very funny to me, actually. But okay, so she needs me. I'm necessary to her. Hmm. So, uh, what's the consequence of that? Of being necessary to her? In the dream. The consequence was that, oh man, I, okay, let me see if I understand the question again. So what? You mean so what? Yeah. What followed from that, what you just said, what followed from that in terms of the dream? Oh, what followed in terms of the dream is that my whole world opened up and I got everything I wanted and more. And more. And more. Yeah. Because of what reason in the dream? In the dream it was because I knew that I wouldn't misuse my power. No. Fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. I got everything I wanted and more, yeah. and yeah. your question is, so what? No, no, we're, we're, my question is, to what do you attribute it to? In the dream, I attribute it to that just benevolence. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so I could ask you a question about the dream? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, give me a talk about what it was like, right, in that curious state of mind that you described as the time and space shifting power. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was... Um commonplace for me and nor what? it was commonplace and normal and effortless pleasant effortless uh, without any particular uh, self-aggrandizement to it just do it uh, I don't understand what's it like it was easy and lovely and yeah, okay. nice and in the moment and done There was a space-shifting power. Interesting words, isn't aren't they? Isn't it? What do you make of those words? It, right? Where are we? Stay um, in it. All right. The ending. And I knew that I had arrived by that time and space-shifting power. What is that saying? I knew that I had arrived by that. Right? by the time and space experience? Yeah, but, oh, I knew. How do you read that? So, so okay. various ways you can read that. Okay, the they refers to the gifts that were inside my backpack. I knew they had arrived by that time and space shifting power. Is that? Oh. Thank you. Okay, that, that I had the, brought it on. I had brought those. No. And did that same state of mind occur in the episode? Right. Right. You see the language again? Mm hmm This is hard. She um, turned to me and asked me to act. I saw that I could shift time uh, the same issue. At that moment, what was that like? Right? I saw that I could shift time gracefully and modestly. What, what's that like <coughs> in the dream? I saw I could do it in that, finish it. 
See, it's a beautiful expression. You need it. Gracefully and modestly. Well, <coughs> it speaks to an issue that I have with healers and intuitives and new age people who all get all puffy about themselves, not graceful and modest. And I've seen myself be in that state of mind. I don't like that state of mind. And so I see the dream is showing me that I don't have to do that egotistical thing. I can just do do something and let it go, and it's good. Yes, that's true. But look at the way the sentence reads. As a consequence of being in that state, what followed? That in that state, would you read it? Which, where are we here? She turned to me. Okay, she turned to me asking me to act. I saw that I could shift time gracefully and modestly. Right. Got that? Do it again. I saw, I saw that I could shift time. Mm, what followed? Go ahead. Gracefully and modestly in just the right increments to get things to be good and right. I just in the right? Come on. In just increments, increments. to get things good and right. <coughs> What kind of state of mind is that? In that sequence of that curious experience of time, you ended up doing in increments the, the, the right and the good thing. Right? right? What's that like? In the dream. In the dream it was a real, uh, uh, I was so, I was just happy, but in a non-personalized way. I was just completely happy. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been happy before? Yes. Yeah. Oh. This is the right oh, there. Oh, this is yeah. way up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Really happy. <laughs> oh. Uh, put more words on it. Um, it was like. Uh, I'll just help you. Dull. No, fascinating. Uh, tiring. Not at all. Energizing. <laughs> oh. oh. And it then allows you to function so you can operate in each of the increments of time in a good and perfect way. Is that right? Right. What's that like? Now add to what you use. I'm not just crazy. Okay, all right. For one thing, um, it feels, the whole phrase of in the increments of time feels uh, liberating that I don't have to do it for the rest of my ex mortal existence and beyond and be all responsible for it just in this moment. Do it perfect. So in a way, it feels liberating. Mm -hmm. I also, in the context of the dream, um, in the whole dream, I, I, I feel un, unvalued. And this shows that I, there is a good value in me being able to shift time in a happy way. Wouldn't it be interesting to be in that zone uh, as a permanent state? Right. That's what I wondered when I got out of the dream. Hey, I, I'd like to, <laughs> yeah, to do that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Good question, isn't it? <laughs> so now can you go back to the original question? Could you compare yourself with the teacher? Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. I was assuming that she was in total charge, but actually, I was. Mm -hmm. Or at least co. Co, at least, yeah. Right? At least. I mean, I could provide something for her that gave me value as a equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what kind of a teacher is she? <coughs> she is one. She is an ideal teacher. Uh, she has. Um, Good judgment. She doesn't give in to peer pressure. She knows what. She's in charge of a really a beautiful thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> Clear and strong. Yeah. Um, like who? Like who? In your dream. And your quote. Well, the only description I have of her is that she's clear and strong, but she's totally in charge of everything. 
Like who? Could you read the top of the, the uh, next sheet? I knew, go ahead. I knew then that I would always and only do this, this shifting, mm -hmm. for beauty and for good. And I knew the director understood that. What kind of a teacher is she? If she, in fact, She's a high, very high-level teacher. Yeah. Okay, I see where you're going. Yeah. So how are you picturing yourself in the dream? Going back to the question of the teacher in relationship to yourself. I, um, I think what this is showing me is that I'm not seeing myself clearly because we're functioning as equals. Or in the, in the case of the dream, I'm providing something she needed. Yeah. yeah. Interesting dream, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What difference does it make? Well, it seems that the issues that I went into the dream with, you know, I'm older, I'm not attractive like young people, people ignore me, la la, that that's all irrelevant. Good show. Are there any other dreams? Good. It was just an, like an image. Yes. It was just, that's all it was, was an image. And I thought, that's so weird. Um, what was only an image? What I, this dream that I had, it wasn't like a dream, it was just this image just telling of me polishing this old Spanish carved cabinet door. No, 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 no. I had a little no, flowers no, no, in it, no, no, no. and that's it. No, no. <laughs> No, no. Huh? Your chair. No, no, no. <laughs> I have to see it when you talk about it. So do it again. Okay. Um, I, there's a big, huge, it's this Spanish style uh, cabinet. It's old cabinet. and, yeah, like a big, huge, thick cabinet. And it's that Spanish style, style with that rough carving mm -hmm. that they have, and it's very thick. Dark, dark, dark mahogany. Good. And it, Louder. Okay, the door is very thick. It's a cabinet door, but it's huge. And it's that thick, dark, dark Spanish mahogany. And it was carved uh, with all these flowers that were kind of three-dimensionally carved into it, like a relief, a carving relief. And, they, and I'm polishing it. I'm polishing all the the door and the flowers and and there was something about it that I said this is tedious but yet it was beautiful you know the 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 door and 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 there was something about it being so old you know ancient or uh, an antique it was an antique that's it that's I like it. it's interesting yeah yeah that's what I thought it was interesting too and I thought mm. this Curious and go ahead, go ahead, more. Um, what's this about? And I have, you know, and why would it come to me? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the same question. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Say, so what was it like polishing it? Um, I liked it. It was focused. I was focused on it. Um. I was enjoying it until I thought about it as being tedious. Oh. Well, what did that reflection do to the experience? It diminished it. Yeah. It diminished it. I could still appreciate the beauty and the carving and all of that, but yet the state I was in initially was diminished. Keep them off. Oh, okay. I, I heard it. <coughs> so that we had the airplane. No, no, it okay. just diminished. Okay, and I was diminishing. Okay, okay, I'll try. <laughs> right. uh, what did you just come to with Barbara? That I also, when I was recalling the dream, was starting to diminish in my voice. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just asked for volume, <laughs> but it's a good reflection. Oh. Yeah. What do you make of that? 
What's the issue then? And what you just said. What? Nothing else. When I <clears> get <throat> into a state that I like, I judge it negatively, mm. and mm. it diminishes it. It takes yeah. out the polish, kind yeah. of a. <clears throat> takes out. So, what was it though? Uh, what was it like doing it before you make that judgment? Um. Well, it sounds corny, but it was like nice. More. Um, just focused into it, just doing it for itself. It wasn't a chore. It was um, actually kind of revealing the beauty of the door. Kind of like it was an antique, and I wanted to see more of its beauty. And you were doing what? I was polishing it and thus revealing the beauty. More the, the, the beauty of the piece. Yeah. Yes, You're than re the revealing the beauty of the piece. Right. Is that right? Is that what you said? I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what you said. Interesting thing you're doing, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? I don't know. No, no, from what you just said. Revealing? Yeah. Beauty? That's ancient? Yes. Oh, what are you doing? Philosophy? Uh, could be. <laughs> Plato? I could uh, be. No, Plotinus, a kind of echoed back to the the 6-2 that we were doing, the yeah. uh, Plotinus oh. state when I was reading it. Oh, what was it like the time you were reading 6-2 and Plotinus then? Well, you know, it's kind of like being home, you know, <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's, Go ahead. Um, Like being uh, home. Yeah, but there was something about it that was compelling. I wanted to do it. Mm. I was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. you, you, you used a word before that I, I'm not familiar with. You said uh, uh, light. Pardon me? Yes, you said that word, I believe. Light? Yeah, L I G H T or. I thought it said like. L-I-K-E? Yeah. Therefore, it was rather dull. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, yes. No, it wasn't dull. Oh, yes. The wood was dark. Yeah. And very thick and yeah. ancient. And you're and bringing deep, out the deep, beauty of Deep, it. deep carvings, yes. Yeah. What was it like doing that? Um... It was compelling, mm. something I wanted to do, mm. something that seemed natural. Um, something I wanted to do it was the natural and do, yeah. and I wanted to reveal the beauty of yeah. the, the carving. And you were successful. You were revealing the beauty. Yes, I was. Yes. And I, you know, the funny thing, you said something about light. Um, I don't think I said it, but in the dream, this piece was right by the door in my house, which doesn't fit the piece, but yeah. it's where all the light comes in. So what? Go ahead. Well, that's the only light I can think of. So. Well, what was it like? <clears throat> what did it do to the, whatever you were doing? Oh, it makes it um, easier to do it. Oh, you can see the, better. Oh, oh. more. You could, yeah, with the natural light, you could really see an object, mm. um, an object of art. 
That's an interesting expression, isn't it? Natural light. Yeah. That lets you see better. Yes. It's similar to that six two thing you were reading in Plotinus. But I don't know how. Yes. It reminded me of yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. By the way, uh, did you ever get into sitting? Yes. Um, go ahead. You know, I've been sitting uh, in, what's, in, in the morning. But what's this experience like compared to your sitting experience? Well, you know, like it has more depth. It what? has depth. Oh, this has depth. Yes. Oh. The sitting is. It's good. Yeah. Um, well, you it's, the well there, there's a point in my sitting. I do, I do two sittings, yeah. and the second sitting is the natural one, more natural. Oh, this is therefore the more natural one. Yeah, where I can just sit, and there's the kind of a the image of the earth that we see with all that blackness yeah. and it's just it looks still mm -hmm. but it's not You're right there's this stillness in motion yeah. so it has that mm -hmm. sense to it similar and words to the cabinet or the dresser I don't see that well did you just use the word black oh yeah yeah. I did. It was oh. dark. Yeah. Dark, dark, uh, ancient uh, yeah. mahogany. Very thick. Yeah. What's the relation between the two? Are you bringing the beauty out of it? Yes. <laughs> if you did that when sitting, what would that do? I don't know. I don't either. That's why I asked. Would it be an interesting thing to do? Yes, it would. Oh. Yeah. 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 Has natural light to it. Right? <coughs> mm hmm. <coughs> yeah. Helps you see what you're doing. Clearly. 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 Yeah. That's, is that a kind of clear scene? Yeah. In what way? I don't know. I, I agreed too quickly. <laughs> 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 I thought you'd let me off the hook. But. Okay. Gulp. I called for that. Gulp. <laughs> yeah. Are, are we ducking away from that point where we reached? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Pulling away? Yeah. And that's the same thing. Yeah. It's yeah. happening. Yeah, it yeah. diminishes it. Yeah, just oh, now. it's an interesting state to look right for. Now it's and it's happening. just coming right up. Yeah. yeah. Can we dump it? Yeah, I'd like to, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a lot more fun. Yeah. All you have to do is tell me what it was like polishing, seeing the beauty emerge from it. Well, it was like a song. Good. What like, kind? Like singing. Like, uh, um, easy, natural, easy, uh, appropriate, natural. appropriate, appropriate. Uh, yeah, beautiful? beautiful. A little bit. No, it was beautiful. It was light, and it was, you know, like a song. Yeah. What kind of song? Um, carefree. Carefree. Um, hmm. happy. Yeah. Um, focused. Yeah. Um, productive. That's what you're doing in the dream. Wow. Right? Yeah. That's what, that's what emerges. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> the dream's telling me I'm doing that. Yes. <laughs> wow.
You can't get too much out of a dream, you know. They're just images. <laughs> No, wow. I thought it was just an image, you know, just this picture, you know. Wow. No, you can't get too much out of it. Whoa. Remember what you said when you got up? I said, I had a dream, and you said, well, I just had a sentence. I didn't need you. Whoa. Thank you. Okay, another two-minute break? Everybody feel like Yeah. Oh, okay. Always good to take a break. Here. Mm -hmm. It's been requested that I read it out loud. Okay. Shall I? Everyone need... Thank you both. Good? Okay. Okay, at the beginning of this dream... In all of its dramatic events, I'm talking with a couple people, and I'm explaining that what's being witnessed is the movie At Close Range. And I am discussing the plot with a girl, I think, and she's saying as I go through the plot details that she knows the plot. Such details is that the father of the main character is a thief, a grand theft. He's, <coughs> in, he's into grand theft, as in he steals tractors, high-powered tractors, and he starts killing people because they know what he does. And his whole purpose is to not go back to prison because he's already been there. And he targets members of his family also, eventually including his son. But as it turns out, the plot that I'm describing is the dream itself, or appears to be in the beginning. And I'm about to live through it. And that starts happening. There's a scene where that guy is amongst a bunch of other people, including myself, and things happen. I'm not sure what. It's like everybody's milling around, and all of a sudden he kills somebody by driving some object through a wall, on the other side of which is someone suspended, as if they're handcuffed or chained to the wall. It's like a penetrable wall made of metal, perhaps, thin metal, obviously. It's shocking. It's horrible. Then there's a manhunt for him. And yeah, I think it's a baseball game, frankly, at the conclusion of which he did that. And it was the sense that everybody knew each other. Then there was a manhunt for him, or was he hunting others? They're hunting him, and it's a race to see who gets who first. And then there's this kind of denouement scene or climax scene in which there's a showdown between him and someone else. And I think it's me playing the lead, as if I'm the son in the movie, and he gets killed, he, the original murderer, gets killed, or I kill him, and I can't remember how that happens, but I'm walking away from the scene, and I'm talking with someone about what happened. We're talking excitedly about what ha happened, and this is all around, like, buildings with heavy equipment, and I noticed that while I'm explaining that, I walked into this area that's raised and stepped into the midst of these turn saws. You know, these high-powered circular saws. I mean, they're not on, but I get extremely afraid or shocked that I had so carelessly walked into this area where these saws are, where if they had been turned on or were turned on as I walked into them, I would have been killed or seriously injured, maimed. That occupied my mind in the dream considerably. Then still, that was like an end of a story at that point. But then, the dream flips to some years later, it seems, and the legacy of this violence has not ended. It's carried into the future. Somehow I've become a different person, like an American Indian or something. But people connected with the original killer, it seems, target me as they are participating in some kind of manhunt or game in which it is killed or be killed. And they shoot me several times, once in the head, once in the chest, once in the leg, but I'm not dead. I think I pick up one of their guns. I don't know if I shoot them. Maybe I did. But again, there's like people around. It's like they know each other, but don't know each other. There's this kid laying on the ground. He's inside an enclosure. I've gone in there and it's like he's related to one of these killers. There's some other person on the ground laying next to him. Who knows if he's alive or dead? 
Kid appears to be injured. When I say kid, I mean early 20s, late teens, perhaps. But I train my gun on him as if he's one of the bad guys, you know, or someone I need to kill. And he raises his gun on me, and somehow I end up not being near him anymore, somehow walking backwards or walking away from him because of the gun being raised. <laughs> and then people clear out, people leave. I go back and I see him, and I stay a distance away from him. But I raise my gun at him again as if to finish the job, take care of him, and he reaches in his jeans, and that is the pant leg of his right leg. And I'm aware that he's about to pull off some kind of maneuver in which he kills himself and takes out his assailant, which I thought was me, but this is a kind of weirdness of the dream that whoever it is that I am can like separate, him, separate itself from the person I've become, but I don't have to be. And that person can then experience a fate based upon his actions that I don't have to experience. Because it's them now and not me anymore. Anyhow, the dream has the sense that the kid is a kind of explosives expert and is ready in the situation to use his know-how to destroy his enemy while he kills himself at the same time. And that's what happens. Then there's another part after that where again it's like people are acting casual and there's this mystery now about what the kid has done and there's this other character who feels like a main character who I'm oh yeah earlier I left this out when I walked away from the kid the first time I was talking with the same character who appeared after the kid has blown himself up and his enemy up and I said look at what these guys did to me I mean they shot me seven times and he looks at my face which is one of the places I got shot it was actually in the head but now it feels like my left eye or my left cheek left part of the face and he says yeah you look like shit which was funny given the seriousness of the situation I described you know getting shot seven times and anyways after the explosion the suicide kill explosion revenge in a blaze of glory type explosion there's a mystery about what the kid has done and this other main character the guy that said yeah you look like shit earlier is trying to solve the mystery and he comes across these stacks these cylindrical looking things with holes on both ends about eight inches in diameter and they like fit within each other or there's like multiple of them and they can be pulled apart and he's wondering about what they are and I say they're like smokestacks and I'm involved, well, like thinking in my head about how they're connected with the kid, as in he knows how to ventilate explosions he's made to happen, or fires that he set. So I'm like trying to solve the mystery of what I had seen as far as what the kid is able to do. And then that main character, which I was telling you about, he asks one of the guys milling about there, what did you say you did in the university? Something like that. Or... What did you say you did in college, studied in college, or majored? And the guy says, what are you going to do? And the main character said, well, what the fuck is that? And the guy says, I don't know. And the main character laughed. It was like a real funny part of the dream. And it dawns upon me what that meant, that whole sequence. I got the joke. Yeah, interesting dream, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of it? Well, this is the first thing I was thinking in anticipation of your question. Good. Um, there's a purposelessness to the dream. Hmm. Like, uh, this, there's this milling about business that repeats itself. Mm -hmm. Um there's a baseball game going on it's like everybody knows each other and yet there's a manhunt so there's a lack of clarity mm -hmm. about what people are gathered for or are around each other for even though they know each other mm -hmm. um, and when I say purposelessness I mean also I don't have a meaningful connection with the people. I mean, I may be his son, but it's not 
completely clear to me that I am, and yet nevertheless I'm involved in the drama. The boy that I trained my gun at, why am I pointing my gun at? I don't even know who he is. <laughs> Much less whether or not I should be shooting him. Or threatening to. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all there. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and, and it extends all to the end, right? The yeah. the idea of uh yeah. um majoring in what are you going to do? And the guy says, I don't know. Seems to speak to my current situation. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Say, is there a contrast between you and the people in the dream? <clears throat> From what you just said? Uh, is it, did you not say that uh, while they knew each other... Finish it. Well, no. Uh, From what you just said. Well, it seems that everybody knows each other. That's true. There's a, a, a family feel about it. I just thought you'd... Like people who gets together for a baseball game. People that know each other. Right? That's true. No, but, uh, do I know them? No, I don't know. I don't know who these people are. None of them. It really is like it's a movie with characters that I'm outside of watching, but in this case, I'm inside, mm -hmm. and yet there's still that lack of connection. Like, like I don't know who they are. Well, do they know? They know one another. They may. I, I'm not sure. Uh, about is that, that what you said? I don't recall. <laughs> oh, which is a good statement, you know. Well, it's in the dream somewhere here. Yeah. It's like they know each other, but don't know each other. Thank you. Read that line. Uh, it's like they know each other, but don't know each other. Uh, no, 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 read the line. Well, that is the line. Oh, yeah, mean, I mean, before just, it? Yeah. Um, they know each other, mm -hmm. but what? Don't know each other. Hmm. What would you call those people, then? What state of mind are they in? Ignorant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all what? They're all ignorant. Yeah. Yeah, that's the interest, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, who's doing the seeing in the dream? Me? Are you, especially the last paragraph, how are you doing? Well, I'm trying to... I don't know how I'm doing because... Oh, really? Well, the whole cylindrical stacks thing... I, I mean, the way I've been thinking about this is this, it's a kind of vain theorizing because... I don't know the kid from Adam. Much less that he has any connection with cylinders. Are you offering an explanation? I'm trying to. Oh, wait a minute, not trying to. Are you doing that in the dream? Yeah. Yeah. You're the one, then, who's offering explanations. Yes. Oh, oh. What's significant about this curious dream of yours? That goes beyond all of this that's fundamental to everything. That I offer explanations. That's true. No. That's right. There's something else going on. Uh, it's only major, so don't worry about it. Okay, what do you see? No, why should I tell you? Okay. What role are you playing in that dream? At what point does it reach an interesting peak?
is it main character? Um, yeah, it's me playing the lead. Uh, yeah, that's true. I'd say, would you read the last two lines of that dream on that page? This page? Yeah. Whoever it is that I am, I can like separate itself from the person I've become because, but I don't have to be. And that person can then experience a fate based upon his actions that I don't have to experience. Thank you. What state of mind is that in the dream? At that moment in the dream? Read it again. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm aware that he's about to pull off some kind of maneuver in which he kills himself and takes out his assailant, which I thought was me, but this is a kind of weirdness but in the dream. there's a weirdness in the dream, and that weirdness is, keep going. That whoever it is that I am can, like, separate itself from the person I've become. Is that interesting? What does that mean? Well... I mean, just on the face of it, it's the difference between being a participant and a spectator. Being an audience member versus being an actor or involved in the drama. You're absolutely right. What does that mean for the dream, then? It's not necessary? I don't know. Well, but, no, yes, you do. It's in the dream. I'm not sure what to say. That well, there's an unreality to it. There's a. Um, there's a. By the way, there's a reality to it. Unreality, I said. A reality to it. Okay. How so? Read it again. Try it. It's the kind of weirdness of the dream that whoever it is that I am can like separate itself from the person I've become. Stop. In terms of the dream, what does that mean? In the middle of the dream, you're saying something, you're discovering something about yourself. What is that in terms of the dream? I can separate myself from the person I have become. At that moment, what is that like in the dream? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I want to give a proviso about that. It's not like I'm doing voodoo in a dream. It just happens that I am separated. It's not What's that like you're separating from what you have become yeah. in the dream. I don't know what to say. The whole dream was very vivid. I mean, there was sure. a vivid experience there. Sure. From beginning to end. Yeah, from beginning to end. Absolutely. That's why that line is rather important. If you were to stay in that state of mind, what would that do to the dream? Well, it would change my relationship with it. That's right. In what way? Maybe I could solve the mystery of why I'm involved in all that business mm -hmm. in the first place. Yeah. More than that. More than that. I heard you. How so? We're staying with the words again. Uh -huh. That's all we're doing. Say, so what did you discover at that moment in the dream? That you can Myself? become Myself? That I could separate from a person that I've become? Yes. And don't have to be? That's right. And that person can then experience a fate based upon his actions that I don't have to experience. Yeah. 
you don't have to be in this drama. Yeah. Yeah, that was clear when I recorded this. Yeah. What does that mean? I, I mean? can get out of my dramas. I can or see that you have, not can. See that I have? I don't feel like I've, seen, see, <laughs> I've gotten I, out of my dramas. The What's word that? can. What does the word can do in that sentence? I can, like, separate myself. I can separate myself from what I've become. Mm -hmm. It's a rather interesting s statement, isn't it? In terms of the whole dream, you can separate what? Myself from what I've become. Yeah. So what does that do to the whole dream? I can separate myself from what I've become. I don't know. What does it do to the whole dream? Do you know? <laughs> See, that's the state you're in in the last paragraph. How are you functioning in the last paragraph? Trying to solve the mystery. Yeah. You're no longer in it. Mm -hmm. You're out that, of it. That's right. Yeah. Right? Like the whoever, I was supposed to be the guy that got blown up, but yeah. I wasn't blown up. But the last paragraph means what? Are you part of that drama anymore? No. <laughs> that's the force of that sentence. Now you can be what? How are you functioning, therefore, in the last paragraph? Like Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Or? Enjoying it? Yeah. Like what? What's it like being in that last state? <laughs> it, was, it was funny. It was fun. I don't know the word fun. I'm, I thought English is my first language. <laughs> What was what, what it like? Like you've had fun in other activities. Where would you put this kind of fun? It was a thinking kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Taking on puzzles? Taking on puzzles, yes. Interesting state of mind that is compared with the rest of the dream, isn't it? Have you separated yourself from that first part of the dream to become what you are in the last paragraph? Like now you're having fun. Yeah. So that's but, why I'm mm -hmm. interested. What kind of fun is that? But isn't there a parallel with an earlier scene where? Um, I'm talking with someone about what happened. Yes. We're talking excitedly about what happened. Mm -hmm. I guess that's not solving a mystery. No, no. But I get into trouble there, too. Yes, that's right. Stepping into trouble. This, right. Yeah. Right. But now you're out of the trouble. Yeah. How you doing? having separated yourself from what you've become. Well... What's it like being Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> well, I mean, just to stick with the language <laughs> of the dream, the guy becomes disinterested in my explanation. Mm -hmm. Or it does he? I'm not sure. He says... He asked one of the guys, Millie, about there, what did you say you did in the universe? That does seem like it's connected in some way. Mm -hmm. Like the whole idea of the, guy, the kid being an explosives expert. Well, 
right? Like a university is a place where you could go to become an expert, mm -hmm. study, become knowledgeable. So it's like he's also a Sherlock Holmes. Like, why does he even ask that if he's not trying to make some kind of connections himself? Yeah. Therefore, what kind of, how would you, you relate say, yourself with him? Well, maybe he's Holmes and I'm Watson. Uh, One of them. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's asking a foolish question? Uh, or an, a secondary question? Yeah, it's not clear how it's relevant, but... Yeah, that's right. So then you're playing, and he's playing Watson, and you're Holmes. Hmm. How important is that line for you? That you separated yourself from all of that and separated yourself what you've become. Well, I knew when I when I read this dream out, right, and, and then when I transcribed it, that this was significant. Right? Yeah. I mean, this what was, was it like saying it? In both places in the dream and on your and your reflection. In the dream, it was not reflected upon. It just was. Well, that's interesting. What is that like? It just was. I like that. It just was. Go ahead. It was just was. Mm -hmm. you, know, you asked me about this before. I'm still not sure how to <laughs> talk about it. I don't know if it's a state of mind or... So the last paragraph. It was safe, right? Like there was a safety to it. There was a safety to it. Yeah. Good. Well, I mean, that's that continues the theme. Yeah. Like, it wasn't pleasant to be shot, but I wasn't killed. I mean, if someone gets shot in the head. Generally, they're dead, right? I mean, I got shot in the head, and I was still alive. So. But see, now you separated yourself from what you've become. Yeah. Oh, I became a different person. Yeah. Do you like that change? Or myself. Yeah. It's a major dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> major dream. Got to do something with it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you separated yourself from what you become. You're, you're now a Sherlock Holmes. You're now having fun using the mind. You're not engaged in all those other activities. Wow. That's a good state. Yes. <laughs> Is that separating yourself from the family? I think so. That's major, isn't it? Yeah, something to work on. No, no, it's finished. Finished? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I just have a difficult time uh, reconciling that with how I function, generally speaking. <coughs> but now you're separated from it. Okay, at least in this dream. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Pierre. Yeah, pleasure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, curious stuff, isn't it? Can we help David hold up the works here?